Would you like to know the secret to having a successful season? <laughs> okay, I don't have a secret. But there are mental skills and mental tools that you can teach your athletes so they can be better players, and then in return, you will win more games. I am Dr. Delise Coffey. I'm a psychologist and a mental game coach. As a psychologist, I help my athletes restore their mental health. As a mental game coach, I teach them strategies and give them tools to get their mind and body in sync so they can have their best game more often than not. I've been working with basketball players for over 25 years, and those that are mentally tough, they do have better games. Today, I would like to share with you how being mentally tough will help your athletes stay focused so you can win those games. Mental toughness is what separates the good from the elite athletes. I know you've heard that so many times, but let me break it down for you from a psychological perspective. Let's take away all the athlete's physical attributes. Most athletes, if not all, they are aware if they practice consistently, they will improve and have good performance. But let's add this. Let's add past experience. Our past experience shapes our minds, and our mindset is molded how we choose to act and react on similar situations in the future. All athletes strive to be successful. All athletes have wins, have losses, have good games, bad games, make mistakes, fear of failure, and even try to avoid being embarrassed. These experiences are the same for all athletes, no matter what age or what level of experience. Mentally tough athletes, they know that it's in their best interest to stay focused on the current play, one play at a time. They also know that worrying about mistakes, losing, Outcomes, avoiding failure, fear are all counterproductive. And when athletes focus on things that are out of their control, they end up worrying, focus on what they don't want to happen. They become tense. They play tentatively and they're indecisive. By focusing on things that are out of their control, your athlete is training their mind to do what they do not want to happen. For this reason, it's because negative emotions, or things that are out of our control, it involves more thinking and the information is processed more thoroughly than positive things. In short, we tend to ruminate more on unpleasant events. In psychology terms, athletes focus on things that are out of their control more. If you want more information on how to help your athlete, visit my website at Mindset Sports psychology.com. That's M-I-N-D-S-E-T-S-P-O-R-T-S psychology.com. And remember, physical is part of it and mental, that's the heart of it.